Hello, and welcome to the SAP Business One Overview Demo. Today we're going to be focused on CRM sales quotes. Now CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management, and that term can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different organizations. Here in Business One, I look at CRM as understanding the overall health and actions that are taking place against my customers. So let's go over here and let's look at CRM and let's open that up and let's go down here and look at sales quotation. Now I have a lot of different ways that I can open up a new sales quotation within Business One. As you see here under CRM, I can come down here to sales quotation, but we can also see over here on my dashboard, I have my sales process and right here in the upper left hand corner, I have sales quotation. Now I can also go down to sales AR, and as you can see here, I can find sales quotation within this area. Many different ways to get to it, but let's make it really simple. Since we're talking about CRM today, we're gonna to go back up to CRM, and we're gonna click here on sales quotation. Now this takes me to a blank screen where I can fill one out, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the last data record, and we're gonna take a look at a quotation that I put into the system. So we can see here that I've chosen my customer up here at the top, and all of my customer information has come over based on that customer. And if you review my uh, video here about business partner master data, that'll give you a very nice overview understanding of how business partner master data is put together. So on my quotation here, what I've done is I've created material associated with that quotation. And what I've done then is I've just added it into the system. And in this case, my sales quotation has been turned into a sales order by going down and right clicking and looking at my relationship map, I can see that quotation has been added in. But let's show how easy it is to add a new quotation. I'm gonna go here to my sales quotation screen, do a blank one. We're gonna look at all of our business partners and I'm going to choose one of my business partners. There we are. That can go into the system. Now what I can do is let's go choose some items that I have that I wanna be able to put on this quotation. Let's say that I'm gonna be providing them with this rainbow printer and this rainbow printer also. So I've chosen both of those and we're gonna add that into the system. Now we can see here under my quantity, let's say that my customer is interested in having five of each of these. And we can see that up here on the right hand side, I've created the quotation on April 22nd and it is valid for 30 days. And that is a parameter that I've put into the system that says, keep my quotes valid for 30 days. After 30 days, that quote be no longer becomes valid and it goes into a closed stage. Now I can always reopen it if I choose to and be able to send that off to the customer. Now, as we can see here, how easy that is, I'm just gonna add it on into the system. And once it gets added, it takes me to a blank screen and be able to go back and look at it. I can just click the back button and here we are with our quote. It's as easy as that. Now I can assign this so we see as we right click here, I can create a new activity. That was another video that I had within the system. You can listen to that. Or I can duplicate this. I can close it, I can cancel it, but I also have other opportunities where I can look here at my gross profit. And this is a really nice way of being able to see, okay, based on that quote and the price within my system, what is my profit on this? So a nice visible, and I go into gross profit in greater detail in other videos. So thank you very much for listening today on SAP Business One, creation of new sales quotations.